Okay. I apologise for this. I'm still very, very tired. I'm doing it, recording it there, videoing it here, streaming live to my friend Velforia in the UK because you know he's awesome. And what we have here is the Assassin's Creed 3 Freedom Edition. Now, look at how pretty the box is. <laughs> look at how pretty the box is. Seriously. It's so simple, it's so classy. I've had it for nine hours and not unwrapped it, and I am fucking fuming about that. But here we go. <laughs> Incidentally, someone tell me, why the frig do they put condoms on absolutely everything now? I mean, it's not like a game can get herpes or anything. So, here we go. Unwrapping this bad boy. Or rodents. Ah, before I get into the meat of this though, I admit I didn't wait to unwrap this. The walkthrough guide, which is in hardback and is in a very, very, very tasty layout. Um, gives you a full recap of everything if you haven't played the games before. And it comes with a big ass poster of the entire world map for AC3, which is vast. So, let's unbox this shit. How do I get, how do I get this off? <laughs> Honestly, it's like a bra. It's difficult. Um, right, so that's just cardboard sleeve with everything on it. This is the box itself and I've got to say the detailing on it is absolutely amazing I don't know if you can see that Nath there but can you see the texture detailing in the prints yeah yeah but it's not it's just flat printed so That's crazy, let's open this up that's, that is this. Here we have the meat of it, the game. Which you all just lost. Which I am absolutely over the moon excited for. Oh, they've changed the back of Xbox cases. Xbox Live stuff's no longer in orange at the bottom of the case, it's all green. Oh wow, that's craziness. Yeah. I've never seen that before. So, that's the game, obviously. Then we have... What's this? Limited edition Steelbook collectible. Nice. Which has... Connor on the front of it with the flag which was one of the first images of Connor to be released and then on the back of it it's got the back relief of Connor as well and it almost looks 3D with the way it's been layered which just goes to show that Alex Ross is a genius when it comes to painting these things um, open it up and it's got a printing on the inside and it's a double disc steelbook case, which is nice. It's got printing of flag and things in there. The discs are in here. Oh, right. <laughs> which is weird. I've never had a collector's edition that's done that before. I normally just get the game in the steelbook, but it's nice to have that option because I don't want the steelbook to get all scratched and shit in my collection. What's this? Ominous. Assassin's Creed 3 envelope. Ooh. What have we got in here? Oh. These are sexy. These are very sexy. They're like uh, postcards? Or? Yeah, little lithographic prints. You got Connor 
looking like he's about to attack people um, by diving off of a cliff, which is very, very, very nice. And some scenery concept art by the looks of it, which will look nice when framed and stood up. <laughs> You expect anything less from me? Oh, something fell out. Well, hey, Assassin's Creed 3 bookmark. For use with the George Washington Journal. Now, this is insanely high quality. The it's all printed on a textured vintage style paper. Well, to look and feel like parchment. To look and feel like parchment, yeah. Um, and it's been written in. Someone's done a calligraphic hand on it, so it's all, all the text is handwritten. So it really does feel like the real deal. Um, it's got some beautiful artwork in here. Oh, what's this? What is this? <laughs> what's up with it? It's got a fold out thing where I can't find the fold. I'll find that later because I don't want to wreck it on camera. Because <laughs> then I'll just have angry messages from everybody. There's another fold out bit which just has concept artwork again. Which is all very pretty. It all looks like it's been done with watercolours and oil pastels. Yeah, it's like a training yard for the Redcoats or something by the looks of it. Yeah, Cannot... It's like a thing, isn't it? Like a prison or a military camp? It's like a fort. You gotta go fuck up that fort later. Yeah. <laughs> There's hidden pages in this thing. I'm not going to be cutting it to open it, obviously. I'm just going to be bending it to open it. And yeah, there's a couple of them where it's like that, where if you just pop it open, you can see down it, and there's hidden symbols and hidden pictures and things, and I can't tell if they're meant to have been cut open or... If they're meant to be hidden that way, it could just be a print error. I'll find out online later, I reckon. But yeah, that feels very nicely high quality. I'll be giving that a read later on. Um, so yeah, to recap so far, we've got the collector's box, which is gorgeous. The book, a bookmark for the book. The very, very attractive lithographs. The steel book and the game in a separate case, which still wrinkles my brain. <laughs> because I'm just not used to receiving that level of dedication from a collector's edition. And now... Ubisoft, seems a bit Ubisoft have delivered a lot with this. Here we have the Connor figurine, which I have been lusting over in stores for the past month and a half since they got them from Ubisoft and had them in big vinyl boxes. And you've got, oh, the flag's textured. The flag that stands behind Connor is textured. It feels like it's woven. It's really nicely made. 
It's flexible, but it's not going to break anytime soon. Um, then we get to the figurine itself. Which, oh, flagpole. 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 <laughs> Flag. America! Now let's get Connor out of this, shall we? Oh, he's so pretty. They have done a very good job sculpting this. The face looks like the face from the game which is a first for a collectible figurine normally it's just a random likeness but this one actually looks like the pictures from Connor we've seen um, why has he got a rubber band around his wrist? what is this shit? does it say who crafted the model? like what company? Uh, not anywhere that I've seen um, I know it's based on artwork by Alex Ross. Yeah, because usually the collector's edition figurines are like uh, the Play Arts Kai ones and shit like that. Yeah, could be. But yeah, oh, We've got his tomahawk, we've got hidden blade which revolves. So it can either be up or down. you got little flint, flintlock pistols that come out. Little tiny flintlocks. Uh, see, look, hidden blade, tomahawk. It feels nicely made. This is going to look very nice on my shelf. Right there next to Hamburger Head and the good old death mask from Darksiders 2. But yeah, little hole here. There it is. Fully assembled in all its glory. America! America! All the gorgeousness. <laughs> and yeah, this, this, I, I'm looking forward to this a lot. I mean, really looking forward to this a lot. And that's it. That's the unboxing. Now, excuse me whilst I go and play.